Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today I'm going chic, sexy, boss. I definitely am giving the boss vibe on 10 today. So today I teamed up with Lady Soul. They sent over this beautiful bob and it did have a curved parting. So majority of the video you will see the curved parting. But at the 10th hour I did decide to turn it into a straight part. I feel like you can see the cut more and it just gives more of a again boss sleek vibe. My kids are on the way to the pool so they are little chatterboxes and super excited. Oh, I do want to mention that this one is glueless. It is a closure wig and I installed it 100% glueless. So it's going to be the perfect wig for the beginners. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, ladies, let's get right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. We are working with a traditional closure wig today. Here is a quick look at the inside construction of the cap. I'm gonna use that elastic band they provided to anchor the wig onto the back of my braids, pull the back of the wig back over that, and then pull the wig up to my liking. And this is what she looks like on. So if I did not mention, this is a 10 inch wig. Um, this is a look at it from the back, just a little bit so you guys can see. It hugs and kisses my nape, and it kind of like grazes my shoulders a little bit. For size reference, I am about 5'3". I'm going to go ahead and customize the parting to my own liking. This one is a 5x5 five five closure wig. So you do have 5 inches across as well as 5 inches backwards to kind of work with to customize the parting to your liking. You're going to see in the very end, I did opt to change the part to a straight part. Um, my braids underneath were not as flat as they should have been. So just bear that in mind. Your foundation is very important. I was struggling last week when I did this and um yeah the braids was not given but here I am using my wax stick from bdacbeauty.com paired with the electric hot comb I like to go hot with my electric hot comb so it is set to about 500 degrees I recommend that you do this step on a mannequin head just for safety reasons it is really hot and even with all the practice and years of experience I do still nick and burn myself here and there um but I do this to really stamp out that parting and make it as straight as I can possibly get it you definitely want to use a heat protectant although I did skip that step today and now I am going in with my babyless or babyless flat iron um, as well as a rag toe comb and kind of just chasing um, the comb with the flat iron to really go in and soak the hair out. I'm also bumping the ends because I don't know that's just how I like my my bobs. A lot of times um, a lot of us will do a bob um, like very very straight so that you can really see that blunt cut for real um but for me i like it to just be bumped and then over time it'll kind of you know the bump will kind of fall just like curls will fall now i'm gonna go in and just customize the hairline um the hairline really won't be showing that much in this video but it's always a great idea to customize your wig to your liking. And again, I didn't really take out a lot, but just making the wig look and feel and fit exactly how you like it is key. Now that we've removed the excess lace, I'm just going to go ahead and melt it a little bit. And I'm just using a traditional spritz. This is a small bottle of it and I'll have it in the description box. But I'm just pressing the lace in. I want it to um, give like a sticky vibe so it could kind of give the melted vibe, but it's not bonded down, like not even a little bit. Um, it's just giving like, you know, it's kind of like putting a grip on it in a way so that it kind of like holds on to your hairline or your forehead to give the vibe or the illusion that it is like melted, if that makes any sense. And this is what the wig looks like on. I kind of wasn't feeling the parting and what I had done. So I am going to show you me switching it up. But here I'm just kind of perfecting it and deciding what I wanted to change. Do I want to do a feather on the side or do I want it to go straight down? This side is very like blunt and traditional. So that was like my thing. Do I want it to be like straight on one side and like feathered on the other? Um, you'll see how I have it in just a moment. But for now, I'm going in with um, a little bit of concealer just to go ahead and um, tint the lace as well as a foundation powder along the hairline. Um, they did give me some of the, I believe it's called like true tape or like hair tape. And it's going to act like a lace tint in the parting. And I'm going to show you how I apply that in a moment. But this was pretty Pretty much the final look on this particular day i did wear this over the course of like a week or two so um i did switch it up um a little bit but i loved how it had that little flip over right there and i'm showing you here the lace looks amazing and it's still glueless absolutely gorgeous and i love the length 
Now here I am showing you the tape or the hair product they provided. This is literally like a tape version of a lace tint. They did give it to me in two different colors. The lighter one was way too light for me. Here I am just demonstrating how to apply it. It's just sticky like tape. Um, it has like a gummy feel to it, so it's nice and soft and it'll adhere and just, you know, melt into the wig, if you will. And this is how you apply it, literally just like that. You can do it on a wig head so that um, your base or your wig is kind of, you know, perfect. I went ahead and did mine and I realized I had a side part, so I took it off and reapplied it. And this is what it looks like. It definitely is worth it to use this because your parting just pops perfectly. It's not too light as I thought it would be. And I just wanted to show you how gorgeous it is. Also, they have coupon codes, so check the description box for that. Okay, ladies, update. So it's been a couple days since I um, filmed that video and I've been wearing the wig since. I did opt to change it to a straighter part. And you guys can see it's a beautiful extended parting, but I just felt like the curved part wasn't serving it justice. I wasn't getting the cut and just the, the edginess and the vibe that I like. The wig is still fitting glueless and this is a closure wig. So we don't have to worry about bonding anything down. I also did opt to keep it a no baby hair wig. And this just makes it an easy, no mess, no drama, throw on and go wig. Easy install, easy maintenance, and it's definitely super chic. So go ahead and check this one out. Of course, I have a direct link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.